let's discuss what was probably the single most hated job rework in all of Final Fantasy XIV's history. The Bow Mage. And yes, you heard that right. Bow Mage. This is a term that can still bring about terror in the hearts of veteran players that played back then, while the bard of today is pretty... rockin'. <laughs> It's time to talk about the Bard in Heaven's Ward, which was easily the most hated job rework. So Heaven's Ward was a very weird time in general, and I have nothing but great things to say about Heaven's Ward because I absolutely loved the expansion, but undeniably, it was a very weird time, and especially a strange time for ranged DPS. We just got the brand new ranged DPS job of the Machinist, but we already had the Bard. As a part of each expansion, the 14 devs also introduced some new mechanics and hopefully pushed the job, any job, all jobs actually, into a more flavorful and enjoyable realization of that job's fantasy. At least that's the goal. Crashing in through the door came Wanderous Minue that ended a cast time to nearly every single ability that the Bard had. If you had played the Shadowbringers version of the Bard, now imagine a cast time attached to every single skill, and this does include Empyrean Arrow as well that was oddly enough classified as a weapon skill back then, not an ability like we know it today. A lot of people will focus on stuff like the mobility, which was, yeah, it was terrible. Just like you'd expect, and I really did hate that, because as you've seen in my footage, I like to move a lot in combat, and as a big buff bodybuilder cat daddy in shiny golden type 2B leggings, my gameplay style is essentially being a go-go dancer at a gay bar. But a lot of people miss that it just flat out made it more annoying to weave. More annoying to refresh your two damage over time effects because the cast time delay on iron jaws was annoying. Harder to perform as a ranged DPS expected to, how to say it, a ranged DPS, especially in today's raid scene, is expected to juggle responsibilities to mechanics that involve a lot of movement, in, out, back, forth, take this tether here, take that tether there, oh, move this marker out there. Generally, you want to put that on ranged DPS. In order to really fulfill that role, if Wanderous Minuet was here today, you would have to take intentionally about a 30% damage penalty. Another added benefit, <laughs> of <laughs> turning on Wanderer's Midway, which is the ability that added the cast times, is that you couldn't use auto attacks anymore. Which if we pull up FF logs, whenever people shrug off auto attack damage as being negligible or not much, I'm kind of shocked when people say that because if you actually look at the data, it's actually third place in the Bard's DPS, which is going to be behind Burst Shot as well as Refulgent Arrow. So when you talk about turning off auto attacks, it's like, Ooh. say the least that's gonna be something you do feel but i want to leave all the skill details and all that for the end of the video because i want to talk right now about the rage the way that i would describe the player basis reaction to the bard getting cast times was about the power of ten thousand angry karens at walmart that are asking to speak to your manager at once to say the least, the bard getting cast time was met with a veritable mountain of upset. A lot of the people enjoyed bard simply for the fact that it was less hunkered down by cast times. They liked the mobility and freedom that they could really jump around. Like, as I said earlier, like a big buff go-go dancer at a game bar like I do. I recall the general mantra, the phrase that was going around was something like, um, excuse me, Mr. Manager. If I wanted to play Black Mage, I would play a Black Mage. And as someone who did enjoy the Bard during a Realm Reborn quite a bit alongside Scholar and Summoner, my personal experience, to be quite frank, was similar. I put on the, what, blonde bob wig on to me too. <laughs> it was jarring to now have cast times added to all the skills, including the new one, Wanderer's Menu A, and Iron Jaws. It was yucky. In fact, a good while before Heaven's Word was launched, I already planned to main Machinist though, because big fucking PPUs appeal to me. I'm glad to see literally nothing has changed. Now, if you're watching this video to this length, this is not going to surprise you. I actually joined the group of people that collectively hucked the machinist into the dumpster in Heaven's Ward alongside it, went barred, and lit it on fire. At least with the machinist, it was easier to justify the cast times in our mind because it was a brand new class being introduced with it. It's like, okay, I don't have the emotional attachment to it. Throw it in the dumpster. And so this is the part of the video where I have really gone back and forth and back and forth. Do I edit this in? Do I edit it out? And I'm going to play it safe. But guys, when I say the fury from bard players was at the strength of 100,000 Karens all crying out to speak with your manager at once, I am, I am showing 
probably severely tame replies in my video because I'd rather not get in trouble. Some of them, the way they were written, would provide much needed comic relief. It was... Oh lord, some people, this was too far. <laughs> now let's swap onto reactions of players when Stormblood was really just getting its momentum, and then we noticed, hey, they reverted the cast time, and players rejoiced. I want to say that, unfortunately, not all players felt this way, and some people did really learn and adapt to the playstyle with the cast times, and so it was genuinely unfortunate that they lost that, but I don't want to be disingenuous here and say that it was unanimous. But to say the least, the overwhelming majority of players, including myself, were intensely relieved when the songs were reworked, such as the dreaded Wanderous Menu A, which we will speak on in more detail shortly, was reworked into one of our most powerful party buffing songs that bards across the globe love, which whenever I think about it is actually intensely ironic, because this skill icon brought me nothing short of complete rage a few years ago. The cast times all stemmed from this ability called the Wanderous Menu A, which as you can see was a huge damage amplifier 30% Damage. It was basically like you keep it on at all times or you're basically going to be dumping on yourself. No one wants to dump on themselves. Basically this translated into yeah you could use the way that you used to play the board with no cast times before but you are going to have your damage cuff by roughly 30%. And so the problem was in large part the cast times. But another added benefit to Wanderer's Manuet, as I did mention earlier in the video though, was the auto attacks were removed as well from the bard, which even today, if we look at the FF logs again, not insignificant. So this was like, ow, geez. This caused a lot of theory crafting back and forth that I didn't, I don't have the exact recollection of and I wasn't really a part of, but I, as a spectator years ago, I remember people were furiously just like, it's only a 15% DPS loss, there's no point, but god, it's been so many years. So I've done a lot of talking through this video about it, and I really do think that it might be difficult to imagine what it's actually like, so I'm going to include footage from Mr. Happy's video here, and probably one of my biggest regrets was only starting this YouTube channel like a year ago, and so it's like a huge regret of mine because it's like I was playing back then, but I literally have no recordings of any of this footage, which is a huge pain in the butt. But going off of his video, the FFXIV Heaven's Worth Level 60 Bard Abilities and Thoughts Part 1 video, you can see pretty clear that there is a lot of cast times, as well as he emphasizes that, yeah, you can't just click it off, you're bound by this Wanderer's Minuet skill, phase in and phase out of the mode with its 15 second cooldown. It kind of felt like you were almost locked in, and it's just, uh, yucky, gross. It, it made me feel a lot of sad feelings back in the day. So I really think that that's pretty much all that this musty old tome on the Bow Mage requires. I hope that I don't need to relive this horrible experience again, so I'm gonna just close this video here. So what do you guys think about the old Bow Mage style of bard gameplay? Do you think that it's interesting? Maybe it's cooler than today? Um, again, if you have that opinion, totally let me know. Like, nothing's wrong with having that opinion. I mean, that's one of the coolest things is people can come with different experiences, so let me know if you feel that way. Or like, would you maybe want to see a return in some form, or maybe just one or two rare skills for like more damage like that it was cast? Like maybe you pull back the bowstring for like five seconds and then you're boom for a huge burst? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think it could be really some cool ideas actually. Anyhow, that does it for me, but my thoughts personally is I'm really happy with the current bard in general, and it's easily one of my favorite DPS. It isn't my summoner, who is my absolute bae. Like, I love the summoner, let's get married. But bard is pretty rockin'. <laughs>